hi guys um so i'm getting ready to cut this limb that fell on my fence and the reason why i'm doing this is because i have a thousand dollar deductible on my insurance and i'm trying to save a little extra money because i know that fence i'll show you here the fence is going to be expensive See, this is, I cleaned up all the little small debris that were around it, but it's a locust tree and um, it fell on my fence and over there in the corner. See along the, the hedge line there where all the trees are. So I'm gonna cut this puppy up with this um, to try to save a thousand but you know at least what it would be to take the debris away it's gonna be seven hundred and fifty dollars to take cut this up and haul it away when I could just do it myself and save a little extra money and put that towards the fence. The fence is gonna be expensive. I haven't gotten the estimate on that. I'm still waiting on it, but I I have a feeling, you know, it's a cyclone fence. Um, that it's gonna be pretty much the whole amount or if not more. So I've all I've had this um this saw for a while. Um, just because I have trees up here. See these trees? These trees, there's limbs that sometimes fall and I have to cut them up um, and take the garbage men usually take them. But, um, so I got my safety goggles on, right? Safety comes first, right? <laughs> so let's get started.
All I can do is do like little sections at a time because it's heavy. I'm gonna take a break a minute. <laughs> Woo! Okay, let me move you over here. Hold on. Move you over so you can see a little better. I'm gonna get this now on the fence. This part. Move you over. Okay, I tried to move the camera a little bit so you could see a little better. All I'm doing is getting this um, limb off the fence. I'm going to leave the other limb. I don't have to worry about my neighbor's property, just mine. I'm just going to continue. <laughs>
can see. I have to go a little bit over on her side because that's heavy. See that? It's heavy as hell. That was hard. It was hard because it was awkward. It was right on the fence. It was really awkward to kind of get it on an angle. Whew. Gonna take another break. Back to work. to prop it up like on something so I can cut it in half.
tough. I'm almost done. Okay, back to work. It's rough. This is rough. I think I have about one or two more sections. Maybe we'll cut it in half. See how it goes. fell off.
fighting. Well, anyway, I gotta, I gotta tighten it, fix it, but most of it's done. Just one little piece I gotta cut on it. Hold on. See, I, I, that's probably needs one more cut. Those are all the little small ones. And I just gotta fix the chain. So now, I mean, that's her. Pro I don't really need to worry about she can take care of the rest of it. Um, but I got it at least off the fence so that they, whenever they come, who knows when they'll come. I think they're on, like, back. There's, like, a lot of people before me, I guess. But it's off the fence. They could come in and do their work whenever they want to. See, I just wanted to show you that, that impact damaged the pole, that pole, this pole needs a whole new cyclone right there that and it even the impact of it came over here and wedged that out so it's crazy <laughs> okay so on this um saw this cover just comes off it like just twists off and pops off so you have to make sure that this, you see this little piece right here? There's one here and then there's like a screw here. This has to go and this hole. So I'm going to actually open this up and put, put the chain around this dial here. And... open it up and see how it popped that popped in there and that little screw in the hole and then you want to make sure that this that the saw is straight first of all okay and then that this hold on wait a minute I gotta make sure that this is around. Let me take this out a minute. Okay, put it in there first. And now put it in the hole. Okay, and then see this dial here? It just like turns. And then, well, as you're turning, it tightens. Um, the chain. See how it's loose here? It'll tighten the chain just right up. Now make sure it's... Make sure it's in the grooves. It's kind of tricky, but... get the gist of it. I mean, you just have to put it on there. It came off because I had to turn it. I, I really wish I had another hand here, but I don't. So, I'll just take it off. This is starting to
Well, I need to... <laughs> But that's the gist of it, guys. But it's pretty simple. It's just a little monotonous and I'm losing my patience right now. But it's fairly easy. And, you know, chains do fall off. And you have to know how to be able to fix them. So, it's fixed. I, because I was, I was trying to demonstrate on the side, it wasn't taking it. So, whenever you're trying to fix it, just put it up like in against your body and do it that way and it's tight see it's not loose anymore it's ready to go fixed So that's it. That's how you uh, cut li a limb and I guess you could say I'm officially a lumberjack now. Yay! <laughs> there are the puppies. Lexus, say hi girl. Say hi everybody. Yeah, you're watching mommy cut, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and Venus is over here on the tear. Venus. <laughs> hi, Vini. They're just out of the way so I can do my work. Say hi, everybody. Oh, hi. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.